Hello there, welcome on board my van for today's drive along here in Guernsey in the Channel Islands. So welcome to the channel and if you've been before, welcome back. So as you can see, I've got the camera mounted on the dashboard and we're recording, we're driving northbound and we are sort of on the east coast and we're heading to St. Sampson's, that's the parish. And what I do today, I want to show you uh, St. Sampson's or locally known as the bridge. It's like a little shopping village I'd describe it as and I'm going to drive really slowly through. There'll probably be traffic and you'll get a really good view of what kind of shops we have here in Guernsey at the bridge. After that we're going to head on to um, the coast a few minutes away and we'll, we'll uh, have a look out to sea at the islands of Herm, Jetty, Alderney and Sark. So we've just pulled off the coast road, uh, it's Grand Maison Road, and the speed limit is 25 miles per hour. Uh, by the way, just quickly if you are new here to this channel, this channel is all about what island life is like living in the island of Guernsey. I do drive alongs and walk alongs, so if you're interested in seeing more about Guernsey, you can think about subscribing. And as usual, if you like the video, be very kind to give it a thumbs up. So I hope everyone's doing well. In Guernsey at the time of filming we are gripped in a heat wave. So um, quite hot. I think tomorrow it's going to be around 35 degrees. Uh, which is hot for Guernsey. A lot hotter than we normally get it. So we're following the road along. We're heading toward the bridge. The uh, little shopping village I mentioned. So a few things along here. There's a... Uh, a hair salon that's been here for a long time on the left just passing it now I'm just waiting for this boss to go through yeah there's a hair salon it used to be called hair tech I don't know if it still is I haven't been there I used to go there years ago round we go so there's a no entry to the right so you can't get down there so this is very typical of the Guernsey roads you can see there's a cars parked all on the left they're probably resident cars for the houses that live along here there is yellow lines spaced out in and out, so yellow line means you just cannot park there. If you do, you'll get a ticket from the traffic warden. Uh, there's a pub on the right here. Just see that there, the old London house, just passing it on the right. So not a place I've been in a lot, but it's a nice pub, the London house pub. Very traditional pub. I think they have karaoke in there on a Friday and Saturday night, or just a Saturday night. So we're heading towards the shopping village I mentioned. Village. Can you see those two chimneys right in the centre of the screen? Um, that's from the Guernsey power station. That's where it is, if you ever wondered. So I'm going to turn left here. I've got to give way to the traffic. Someone normally lets you go here. So we've got a nice harbour there nice boats so this is the bit I wanted to show you coming up let me know if you've ever been down the bridge as it's known there's a filter and turn system just to the left as well so keep an eye out for anyone you know if you live in Guernsey you might see yourself you never know So you see that yellow crisscross type looking box junction on the road. That's the filter and turn system. Um, it is a, quite unique to Guernsey. I think some other places in the world may have them. But don't think there's too many. So the filter and turn system works. Um, this isn't a great example of it because it's jammed up. The cars shouldn't really stop on a filter. If there's not room to go, you shouldn't uh, go onto the filter unless there's room to get off it so it takes turns so that car was there before me so the car in front of me was he letting me go technically he should go so i think he was there before me there we go so he goes then i would follow after him then another car would go then the car behind me would go and you filter in you basically take your turns each to go 
they work really well um, if the people on the filter system know how to use them. Most people do. Um, visitors to the island sometimes don't know, but that's fair enough. Right, this is the bridge. So we've got Lloyd's TSB on the left. And if you see in front of you, you see that bluish building? The Mariner's Inn, so that's a pub. So it's quite a nice feel down here. There's people milling around. It's got a very nice local feel about it, the bridge. We've got Stone Lakes, the pharmacy. And there's a shop called Shoestring, just going past. You can see if you want to park down here, it's a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, you can do laps of the place just trying to park sometimes. It does depend when you um, come down. Some days you can park straight away, but like... Saturday mornings and stuff like that is a bit of a potluck. So a crossing to look for, no one's crossing. There's also the Harbour View takeaway, Chinese takeaway on the left. Just looking at the shops along on the left. The Bridge Motor Shop is there as well. So you can get all motoring needs. So they do all sorts down there. Um, I think I'm just letting someone cross here. There we go. And carry on. So you would walk along the pavement all on the left. Uh, there's a roll bar as well on the left there. That red little canopy. I think that they sell rolls there. You can pull in on the right and go off that side of the road. I'm carrying on. There's a boots there as well. Uh, body and soul shop. Uh, there's a Costa Coffee down here as well. You can see just on the right there, those flowers. There's a boat. It's a boat. That blue one is a boat full of flowers. Quite a nice touch. And we are at the little mini roundabout. So there's a nice chip shop down here. If I took the first or the second turning on the left, just there. There's Northside Chip Shop. Really nice chip shop. I've got to do a review there at some point. So heading towards the little coast part I mentioned before and I'll show you the islands of Herm and Jatu. So the speed limit changes along here. It speeds up slightly. You can notice the road opens up a bit. So the size of the roads do change a little bit in Guernsey. Uh, the coast roads I'd say are probably the biggest roads. Then you've got all the really small lanes of Guernsey, which are a lot smaller than this. This is about a medium-sized road, I suppose. So we've got the ha little harbour on the right. A bit of parking on the left. You can see in the distance the cranes, which uh, will float bits and pieces off boats and vessels. And along here, there's a really popular little like, cafe or kiosk uh, a few chairs and tables outside where is it it's coming up just on the right can you see it? it's a few people outside I've never been there myself it looks quite a nice little place and of course the, Va the Vale Castle is on the left coming up but there's a really nice view here of uh, out to sea I'm going to show you so I'm going to pull in on the right here. I did a walk along from here the other day actually. From here I walked to Bordeaux. It's about two or three videos back from this one. So I'm just going to pull in here. I just think I've got room. Yeah, can you see out there? Those lovely islands. So you've got Herm, the one on the left. And Jetu. On there. And in the distance. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you like the stuff of the channel. Click the screen to watch the next video. And I'll see you next time.